So let's try some conditional formatting here. I'm going to just underline by highlighting, highlighting these three cells and focus on this nice home tab bottom border option here. You can press the little down arrow there and see this thing called the uh, bottom border, which is the first option. And by doing that, you can see that we have a nice underline there. And I'm just going to find the sum here. If you click on the auto sum button here, if you just choose the uh, the first option, which is sum, or if you just click on the button here, it should be sum. You can uh, it usually figure, figures out the right range there. I'm going to press enter, and of course you can click on the cell and drag the bottom right corner to make a plus sign and use autofill to figure out the rest here. So we have some nice sums here. Let's apply some conditional formatting. So to apply conditional formatting, we highlight the, the information that we want to be affected by the condition, which is these three numbers. And we want to make it, we want to make it uh, green if these numbers are uh, positive um, we'll just say higher than a certain amount. We'll say green if greater than 200. We'll say red if less than 200. Okay, so let's do that. Let's change these numbers up just a little bit here. Let's make uh, Let's make this uh, organization a team-based sales approach. So if the three salespeople combined do not do so well, so we'll just make this uh, a slower day. You can see that we didn't reach our combined result. Then I would imagine that this day should be red. Now, of course, uh, these conditional formattings could also be applied to individual salespeople and their individual totals, which would be, make a for a more competitive environment. But for now, let's just use this team-based sales approach. So here are my three numbers I want to focus on. Let's go to conditional formatting in the home tab. Highlight cell rules. And we'll just say greater than. So if one of these three cells are greater than something, and then it's going to automatically change it to light red. I want to change this number to 200. and. Let's uh, click the drop down arrow and let's go to custom format. I'm not satisfied with this pinkish color. Let's choose custom format and we're going to just change the fill color to be red. This red is kind of harsh. So I'm just going to click on more colors and I'm going to just choose something a little bit off red. Maybe this one here is a bit lighter. Okay, so click OK and we'll click OK one more time. So you can see that. If it's greater than 200, it should be, uh, it's red right now, but that's not the color we wanted. So let's just go ahead and change that again to green right here. Perfect. So this is a good rule, and this rule applies to all three cells. Let's, with the same three cells highlighted, let's try conditional formatting one more time. Go to highlight cell rules. If it's less than, okay, so red usually means danger. If it's less than 200, then let's let's be in trouble here. Let's go to custom format and change the color to red. So let's go to more colors. Choose a slightly off red here or orange, orangish red. Click OK, and you can see what's happening here. If we change the numbers up here to say uh, 90, 25, and suddenly we're back in the green here. If I change this number to 17.17, 17, we're back in the red. So now let's focus on point number seven. Let's highlight the, the titles here and focus on these cell styles. If you go to the top here in the home tab, you have this button called cell styles and we can just choose any one of these nice ones. I'll just choose 20% uh, accent one, which is here. And you can see it's nice airy fairy blue. What if you want to apply your own custom style called my style? Let's go to cell styles and let's click on new cell style. And when you do new cell style, you can even play with the formatting. You can go to, you can see that by default, many different things can be changed. 
So I'll go to call this my style. And let's format some things here. Let's format the font to some ridiculous comic font. So let's look for the uh, some different font here. Okay, so let's see. There's a nice comic sans. Let's make it a bit bigger. Let's make it uh, a different color, just so you can see that there's some change. Purple, that's pretty noticeable. And we'll change the fill color as well to yellow. All right, just so that you can see it. Click on OK and OK. And now we have our own style. So if we go to Cell Styles and click on My Styles, you can see that it's applied right away. Let's finish off by mentioning the fact that if you already work on your own style, such as by changing this font to Cambria and then changing the background color, just say green. So if you just manually format it and then go to Cell Styles, New Cell Style, by default, Excel will, will remember the choices that you've already made. So you can simply rename it. I'll just call this My Style 2. Click on OK. So without even pressing that format button, if I were to highlight these inf informations here, go to Cell Styles, we already have My Style 2 made very quickly. So conditional formatting allows you to really s focus on certain informations and it's wonderful how the colors change automatically based on the numbers that you change here since it's, it's dependent on a formula. Cell styles are wonderful because it can save you time as you apply a certain style. You can have your document looking just the way that you want by choosing a, a custom style that you've spent a lot of time just making it look right. As well, you can even right click these custom styles and modify it and, and as a result make changes throughout the entire document.